soil to your fruit, you're okay. going to have like triple the the moisture and nutrition going, primarily nutrition going to your fruit. So you're going to have a lot better fruit. You That's know, cool. Sweeter, you know, however it's supposed to be. Nice. Size and taste. Will we get a knife to try to cut this apart or no? Or are we just going to try to pull it apart? I think we can probably break it. <laughs> As I, I know my brother-in-law here, when he does flowers, he's always fucking pulling the roots apart at the bottom. He says, it shocks him, but... It's all, they're all bunched up well, there a little bit, you know what I mean? He says, you're he's, pulling this, he's cutting them with a knife. He's 100% right. That's called teasing the roots, teasing the roots. But whoever grew these, you see, they tr they grew them in a smaller pot, and then they transplanted them into these pots. Okay. And, and, and as a result, the, they're not all matted up. You see, you always, you, you, you usually start with a small pot, okay. and then a little bigger, transplant, and a little bigger, and then go into this pot, because you always want the roots going out. You never want them kind of wrapping Going, up. Uh, okay. You know, some of the some sometimes you get a pot like this, and the roots are yeah, and like the this. roots are just totally matted around here. It's totally white with roots. Well, uh -huh. it's not right. So, but you can help by cutting it, cutting it, cutting it, or in, in just yeah. kind of teasing those out. These are perfect, though. You see, these are young roots that are just growing into this material. Perfect. Good yeah. deal. Yeah, I said, okay. when he does flowers, a lot of times the shit's always grown up like that, you know. Uh huh. And he he takes a fucking thing and scrapes them so that yeah. they open up. He's right. And it, it puts a plant in shock, he said, but it goes to a. He knows. It goes. What, he knows what he's doing. That brother of yours. Now this is this is going to set the plant back a little bit. Let's see where we're grown it, grown attached at. We're, I'm not sure where it's attached at. We might have to cut one of these. Looks like they've grown together. They're like Siamese twins. Yeah. <laughs> I think we better cut one. All right. That way we won't. Just All right, I'll get a knife. Yeah, I'll, I'll have one on. I can probably use my fingernail here. Pinch it off. Which one you want to save? Don't matter. The me. best Everyone out of the two. Best Which one? one you like? This one. You like that one best? Mm-hmm. I can't stick that in a water and root it. Or no, no? I don't think so. Do you want to do some do things that you're gonna get? Make sure that you're gonna get surviving. Uh, you're gonna harvest, you know. <laughs> harvest. You want to harvest, man? <laughs> okay. All right. Now you want to put this down here. You want to plant it? Yeah. Now you want it to go all the way up to here with dirt, so you know that's about how deep you want it. Push her down a little more. Okay. Now fill her up, pack it in, get some of that moist dirt around there. Pack it down good. Get more dirt. There you go. <laughs> now tomatoes, they don't like a high nitrogen. They like what you guys have been doing this year with potash, you know, your, your yeah. ashes from your stove, and a little bit of nitrogen. Actually, if you use the numbers, it's like 5, 5, 10, 5. It's 5% 5 nitrogen, 10% phosphorus, which is for root growth, and then 5% potash. You put 30% nitrogen on these things, too much cow manure, uh, too much chicken manure, you're gonna get huge plants, beautiful foliage, not too much fruit. Okay. It won't be big <laughs> and it won't be very much of it. You know what I mean? So, okay. The, and the other thing about tomatoes, they, they like to struggle a little. It's, you know, they like they don't like a whole lot of water. You don't wanna keep them like wet all, constantly watering them. Let okay. them dry out, you know, like once a week is enough. And you're gonna be able to water these significant, uh, sufficiently from around the edges. And that'll leach into your root. It'll be perfect, you know? If you water okay. around the edges of these tires. All right. Now, that's perfect. So what we got to do with this? Stick this in like this? Uh, yep. Yeah, keep nice. that inside. I'm going to go get those bags. Try, you want to down into the root, you know? Cool. You can even fill these up with dirt like those inside tires. the tire yeah, yeah, yeah that'll keep them that'll keep them strong okay here we have bags here now just have oh to boy fill yeah. it up with some water that's one bag 
Oh, good cow. Turn on the hose. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I'll turn the hose on right here. Yeah, it's right here. Got some water now. <laughs> Jeff, did you buy that hose? Yeah. Nice. It, What's that? I got it so I can put that. Got another there. hose. Here you go, Jeff. All right, Jeff's got it. You got to get Jeff in the picture here. He's the man. He's the man here. <laughs> okay. This is the... And just kind of gauge it, you see, because if you don't have quite enough in there, like in other words, when you put that plastic over the frame and the water doesn't come to the top, okay. right up to the top, you can add, oh, just pour it on the top and it'll run down the side. You see what I mean? Okay. I'll show you. It's simple. <laughs> That's pretty neat. Okay. Set the water up. I got it. <laughs> Might need a little more water in this, but that's okay. Hang on, Jeff. I'll get the uh, the nozzle. Yeah, I got the nozzle over there somewhere. It's right there on the All right. that thing up there. Okay, I'll show you how to do one, and then yeah. you can do the rest. Yep. This is a little. Look, this is this is just a little tricky because you got to get it positioned right, right off center. the bat. You know why? Because when you drop it. Okay. All right. This is going to put holes in the bottom. Okay. Now, now you don't mind that, but you don't want to like drop it and pull it up and drop it. And yeah, pull it yeah, up, you know yeah. I mean? going to do more holes. Because there's one, two, you know, eight, eight holes. You have sixteen. Okay. Well, they're all going to wind up on top of the, the bag. Your. Nice. Ooh, what's going on here? Is it working out? There you go. <laughs> you hold this yeah, up. hold this side. I got this side. Hold them open so they go all the way down to the ground. You want to be right on the ground. That one's not poking through yet. Okay, well, we'll wait until you get... Okay. Yeah, get them all down. Now that's what holds it up on the inside. You see your plastic bag? Oh, yeah. Those, what you're doing right there, that holds it up on the nice. inside. Nice. Now these, that's cool. These hold it up on the outside, but you want to you want to make sure it's onto the ground. See? Okay. Okay. All then the just way hold the, those. Uh, kind of look to see the thickness, of how much water is all the way around. Okay. And if there's too much water in, on this side, pull it a little tighter. See? And, uh, okay. And it'll push it to the other side. Okay. Right. Just pop that pop that over the pin. This one. Yep. Got okay. It. Next one. <laughs> That's fucking cool. I like that. More dirt around. You like the water towers? Yeah, it's neat, man. It's just a, that's a cool idea. Whoever fucking thought of it knew what the fuck they were doing. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Yeah. Experimenting with things like that, and it's just neat. Now, uh, if you need a little more water, okay, we just add a little more. You it just goes, put, it on, to the yeah, top? put it over the top. Right? It'll go right down the side of the bag. You know what I mean? Okay. So it's supposed to be filled right to the top rim? Yeah, about. That's good. That one looks good. Oh, we need more water in that one. This one looks good. So that one over there? Yeah. That's pretty good. You could use a little more, but that's pretty close. Okay, that's good. That's good. If you need to kind of smooth the bag out, if it's got too much, or uh -huh. if it doesn't have enough, you just take this off and then pop it. Just let it out a little bit. Give it a little more slack. In the okay. Plastic. That's pretty fucking neat, man. I like that. Yeah. Well, you like the fact that you're going to be eating tomatoes a month earlier. <laughs> That's what you really like. Yeah, you can put a little more water in there and it'll bring it up to the top. Perfect. Cool. You know I mean? Yeah. That's awesome, though. <clears throat> That's sweet. Now, that... that that tomato will grow, you can leave it on until it gets to the top. Once it gets to the top, you should cut it. 
cut the top to let it out because it'll just it'll, and, and leave the bag there for watering it's purposes not good for the tomato to be pushing up against something yeah and not, okay yeah no that's cool so you're just cutting the top you just put a v in it yeah i just cut it all the way around <laughs> either way put an x there the plant will come out the top yeah cool. i just push the fucking plastic down on the side and it's still it'll water itself then right mm-hmm it was it no, protect that, from blight too you gotta water you, yeah, you're gonna have to water it once a week because this this all this is gonna what this is gonna do though it holds the moisture in better. Like you see these greenhouses you guys yeah. put up here, a little bit hot bed houses, yeah. it holds that moisture in better. It's not evaporating, but you still have to water them once a week. Okay, around the edge. Yeah, well, just put your finger in there, and if it's moist, you know, don't water it. Okay. You know, all because right. you might get a rain or something like that. Yeah, yeah, it's supposed get, to rain tonight. And you get plenty oh, of water. Good. Cool. There you go. Thanks. Now, how many awesome. bags do you got enough bags?